one very nice and systematic way to think about tests is by using the category partition method. And the overall idea is actually simple. The first thing is uh, we identify the parameters or the inputs of our program. Then we think about the characteristics of each of those parameters. Some of these characteristics we can get from the specification. For example, number is always positive. But some others, we can clearly get them from the specification. For example, input cannot be null. That is why looking beyond the requirements is important. As soon as we identify the characteristics of each of the identified parameters, we are then going to combine them all, like in a Cartesian product way. So all the possible combinations. But maybe this number is just too, too big, right? The more parameters and characteristics we have, the more combinations we have. So what we do before is to minimize the number of combinations by adding constraints to the parameters. For example, depending on the problem, we are able to remove invalid combinations. Maybe some characteristic can't be mixed with another characteristic, or we can isolate exceptional behavior, test it just once, and avoid all the combinations with it. For example, testing that a certain parameter deals with news correctly can be done just once, and maybe there is no need to combine it with uh, more than just one case. And all this will then reduce the number of tests to do. To be more concrete, let's get to an example. Let's suppose we are testing this program, and this program receives two parameters. One of them is the date, and the other one is the raw amount. If it is Christmas, the program then gives 25% of discount in the raw amount. If it is uh, not Christmas, then the program doesn't apply any discount to the final value. So if you really think about it, we have two important variables to think about, the date and the raw amount. Then we go one by one. For the dates, we have two important conditions uh, based on the requirements. The date can be Christmas and the date cannot be Christmas. And we have the amount. It can be a positive number like 100, it might be zero for some reason, or in an exceptional case, it can be negative. But it doesn't make sense to have an amount to be negative. But maybe that happens. And this is an exceptional behavior. Then what we do is we test all the possible combinations. So Christmas with positive number, Christmas with zero, Christmas with negative number, not Christmas with positive, not Christmas with zero, not Christmas with negative number. We have six combinations. This is still doable, but then imagine that if we have more variables and more characteristics, this number can explode. That is why we add constraints, so that we can reduce the combinations. In this example, the negative number was the exceptional case. Let's then just test it once and not combine it with the others. For example, Christmas negative number we test, but we don't test not Christmas and negative number. We end up with five cases. And uh, now that you have a set of tests that you derived in a systematic way, this is what we call the category partition method.